So the subject of this video is was the failure of the 1995 Quebec referendum a good thing? To start, we need to back up a little bit and just look at the history of the Quebec referendum. Quebec had been wanting to leave Canada for a long time. The 1995 referendum actually wasn't the first time Quebec had pushed for separatism. The October Christ was one of the beginning events when the group, known as the FRQ, kidnapped two politicians and killed one of them. This set the province of Quebec on fire. Slowly that fire died down, but it never quite went out. Meech Lake Accord in 1987 and the Charlottetown Accord in 1992 set it aflame again. These were both um, proposed amendments to the Canadian Constitution to help shape Canada's future and to comply with some of Quebec's de demands for independence. Both of these accords failed, however, only adding fuel to the patriotic fire. Finally, the province of Quebec burst into flame again with the provincial election in 1993, when Jean Chrétien was voted in as Prime Minister. The opposition to his parliament was split between the Western-based Reform Party of Canada and the Bloc Québécois Party. Usually, the Bloc Québécois were not such a big contender in the polls. They were more on the sidelines, quietly campaigning for Quebec separatism. In 1993, however, they gained an important foothold, boosting forward the movement. This was followed by the election of Premier Jacques Parzeau in Quebec in 1993. He was for the Parti Québécois. Upon election, he promised a referendum would be held about Quebec separatism in the near future. He was true to his word and scheduled a referendum for spring 1995. However, it was delayed until October 30th of 1995. The official question of this referendum was, do you agree that Quebec should become sovereign after having made a formal offer to Canada for a new economic and political partnership within the scope of the bill respecting the future of Quebec and of the agreement signed on the 12th of June, 1995. The campaigning began, and it appeared that the side opposed to separation, or the no side, was in the lead. Eventually, however, Lucien Bouchard took over leadership of the Yeski side from Parzeau. This was in the final three weeks before the referendum. However, the rest of Canada was still watching too. Prime Minister Jean Chrétien began campaigning for the no side, after originally stating that he would stay out thinking that Quebec could solve the problems on our own. However, once he realized how close Quebec was to actually leaving Canada, he changed his mind. There was a unity rally held in Montreal as well, with people from all over Canada coming to show Quebec their support. Many thought it was too little too late, thinking that Canada should have shown more support to Quebec earlier. However, but this did not dim their enthusiasm in the least. Referendum was tense. It seemed like Quebec was voting to leave Canada, as the yes side seemed to be winning. However, as the night wore on, the no side began to make comebacks, slowly reaching higher in the polls. They defeated the yes side with the narrowest victory possible, with less than 1% separating the two. This showed that Quebec was split light right down the middle about whether to separate or not. Now for the million dollar question. Was the failure of the referendum and thus the failure of Quebec separating from Canada a good thing? First, we should define good. The definition of good is a benefit or advantage to someone or something. So who would benefit from the failure of the referendum? Obviously, 50.6% of people thought that Quebec was better off staying in Canada. What made the other 49.4% think differently? Well, there were various things. The main reason, though, was that French speakers, or francophones, had a different culture than the English speakers. They didn't want to lose this culture by influence from the English. Thus, they thought that if Quebec separated and became a self-governing country, the interests and culture of Quebecers would be preserved. Now, to be clear, leaving Canada didn't mean breaking every tie and every economic thing. Many people wanted to keep a common currency, passports, etc., keeping good economic ties with Canada. Now, without getting too economic or political, let's see some benefits and disadvantages of Quebec separatism. Let's start with currency. Canada makes its own currency. The bills and coins are minted in Canada and have Canadian symbols all over them. Quebec were to leave, but still wish to use Canadian currency, a myriad of problems would arise about who makes it, where they make it, and how it translates over the border. Of course, European countries do make their own and have their own common currencies through many countries. However, the transition of a new country regulating currency is a large issue. Second, Canada has a good economy, one of the best in the world, in fact. The standard of living is really high, and this is a result of good resources and a large area. If Quebec were to leave its economic powerhouse, there would be dire consequences 
to not only Quebec, but Canada would suffer as well. They have less resources than Canada, combined with less population, and so on. As well as this, Quebec's main industries are manufacturing, mining, electric power, pulp, and paper. In fact, the Quebec manufacturing sector makes up almost 25% of the Canadian total. Thus, if Quebec were to leave Canada, Canada would lose a fourth of its manufacturing. Even if a free trade agreement were set up between Canada and Quebec, border control points would have to be set up to regulate and tax these things. Finally, if Quebec overcame all of these problems and did separate, one last problem would arise. See, about 60% of the people who voted yes were francophones. This would make the majority of Quebec French-speaking, making most English speakers want to move out of Quebec back to English-speaking Canada. Not only would this cause a shift in jobs, but the migration of these English people would further break the ties of French Quebec to English Canada. In the end, clearly we can't answer all the questions. If Quebec were to leave Canada, it definitely would be chaotic. The economic benefits would be worse for Quebec, but Canada would ultimately suffer also. So the failure of Quebec separating from Canada was a good thing in 1995. The goods just didn't outweigh the bads at that point. However, that was over 20 years ago. The world has changed and Quebec along with it. If another referendum were held today, who knows? Maybe Quebec would both leave Canada and maybe it would be better for both countries.